guys, it's Katie, and today I'll be doing a video on how to stay awake for class, or how to stay awake for like school, or work, or whatever you do that you must get up very early to do, and it's kind of hard sometimes. Um, I'm going to be doing particularly school, because I don't work, and I just wake up at 5.30 every morning to go to school, and my school starts at 7.17, which is the weirdest time ever, I know, um, but like my bus comes at 6.30, so I wake up at 5.30, so I basically have an hour to work with. I need to eat, get all my stuff together, pick out my outfit, you know, whatnot, and do my makeup and my hair. So you have to really be fast and just, you know, manage your time wisely. So I just have a few things that kind of, like, help me wake up and just help me look good for the school and make it look like I have, like, 12 hours of sleep in me rather than, like, 7. I know you're supposed to get, like, 8 hours of sleep or something. Um, when you're my age, I don't know. I don't drink coffee because coffee is disgusting. I do not like it. Um, I like mochas and like lattes, but like I don't like straight up coffee that my parents have in the morning. I like stuff with like peppermint in it and like, you know, Starbucks stuff, but I don't like like regular coffee, if you know what I mean. So my parents just got a Keurig, which is like a coffee maker that's like really cool and I love it. Um, but I usually just make the hot chocolate in the morning and I put in like a peppermint shot, like not like alcohol, like coffee mate stuff. But anyway, point in this video. Um, okay, so I'm just going to show you the stuff I wash my face with in the morning because that's basically the first way of waking up is washing your face. I recommend that everyone washes their face twice a day. Like I wash it once in the morning and then sometimes, most likely I will wash it before bed, but sometimes I really just space and I just don't. Um, but that's just normal for me, I guess. I have dry to norm normal to dry skin. I guess, if that makes sense. I just have dry skin. L'Oreal, sorry, L'Oreal Paris New Go 360 Clean Deep Facial Cleanser for Sensitive Skin because I have sensitive skin. Oh, and dry skin and sensitive. Where is it? This is what it looks like, and it will not show it, but it's like this thing, and it's white, and it looks kind of like lotion, but it's not lotion. It looks like this, and it has this little, like, blue thing that pops out, and there's a little hole, and you just pop it out, and I just used it, so it's kind of wet. It's like this, and it's just this blue thing. You put a little bit of this on it when it's, like, kind of, like, wet, like, lukewarm or whatever, under, like, running water or something, and then you just, like, scrub it on your face, and I don't know. It's really good for sensitive skin. Like, my skin, usually, whenever I use another facial cleanser or some certain thing, it will like get really like tight feeling and like just ouch like it does not feel good so this is perfect um I love 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 this I actually just picked it up like yesterday morning so I've only used it about three times maybe four love it so this um it makes me feel really awake and I know I'm on break right now but I don't get very much sleep on break because I stay up late talking to friends having friends over going to movies going to going shopping whatever I stay up till probably like 11 12 every night and then I wake up at, like nine sounds like crazy like oh my gosh Katie you're getting nine hours of sleep that's amazing but I just feel tired all the time and I hate it so okay anyway and also I went to Sephora the other day to get a good um, new concealer because I've gone through so many concealers like no one's business I cannot find a perfect one like a one that I like and I actually will like use forever so I finally got someone to help me like I was like excuse me can you please help me find a concealer like I don't know I, I sounded so like like, it's such a newbie, but, like, I, I don't know. I just didn't really know. I knew there was, like, some, like, I heard the Kat Von D tattoo concealer was really good. I heard the erase paste was good. I heard all kinds of things about, like, all the other concealers and stuff. But I've used a lot of those, and I just can't seem to make them work for me. I have really fair skin, um, and it's just kind of hard to find colors that work. She's like, I know exactly what you need. I told her about, like, how I'm dry skin. I hate how it cakes. And she's like, okay. So she brought out this to me, and it's the Benefit Erase Paste. And I already had this, but I had it in the wrong shade. How embarrassing is that? I had it in medium. I am obviously not medium. I am number one fair. So I'm the first one, okay? This camera really washes me out. Like, I'm honestly not this pale, but I am pretty pale. So she got me this one, and it looks like this um, in the inside of it. It's not picking up the color. I hate that. But that's basically what it looks like. I, I've actually made a little bit of a dent in it. It came with a little scooper, but I just used my concealer brush. Um, ow, I can barely lift up my arms. I did this, like, power hour at the gym yesterday. <laughs> And I'm paying for it today. So I use this little, like, concealer brush. And I just, like, put it on underneath my eyes. I use it today already. Um, yeah. But basically, what she told me was the reason why my concealer was caking and just making me look even more tired was because I haven't been using a key ingredient. Underneath her eyes, she told me this, that 
Um, the, like, the skin underneath our eyes has excess moisture from being, you know, under our tear ducts and all that, like, you know, good stuff. So, the concealer that I've been using has been just taking all the moisture and just, you know, eating it up. So, it's just dry and just sits there and, you know, it gets all flaky and cakey and no one likes that. A eye cream. And, okay, so I was at, um, Sephora and it was probably, like, 9 o'clock. Like, we were there very late. Um, and I was, like, she was showing me all these, like, $30, $40, eye creams, and I'm like, you know what, I don't need that, so I went to my CVS, my local CVS, my drugstore, and I picked up this one, which I actually absolutely love, and I saw immediate results, and usually you cannot see, like, immediate results with some products, so that, that was great that I saw this, and, um, it's called Skin Effects, and it's by Dr. Jeffrey Dover, and it's called Eye Effects Dual Action Under Eye Therapy, and it looks like this, and I know you can't see it, and I hate that, all right, yeah, this is what it looks like, and it is filled to, like, the brim. Like, it feels like it will have a lot of uses in it, and you use a teeny tiny itty bitty amount. I love the application of this because it's such a small little pump guy, and it only, see, that's how much it gives out. Massage it into your, like, under eyes right before bed and right when you wake up before you put on your concealer, so I love, love, love this. It's perfect convenience. I can easily put this on when I'm brushing my teeth or something, multitasking, you know, and I just love it. So what you do is you just put this on, then you put your concealer on, and then you take a translucent powder or a powder, and you set your whole little doodad there. Next way I kind of like stay awake and alert for school is I like it when I smell good. No one likes sitting in class and just smelling yourself and being like, ew, I don't smell good or ew, I don't have anything on me that makes me smell good. I don't know. I just like smelling good all the time. Like my friends are always just like walking by me like, Katie, you smell good today. I'm like, thanks, I'm wearing this. And I have like 20 billion different perfumes. But honestly, I like the um, Warm Vanilla Sugar by Bath and Body Works. And I I used to hate this because it does smell pretty plain like it's a pretty plain scent but it actually like is really really good I don't know it just tastes it doesn't taste you don't want to taste it. it tastes bad this is the old bottle so they have a new bottle for it now and I also love this which is the sleep pillow mist and see aromatherapy I love the aromatherapy collection um, from Bath and Body Works because it really does work I spray this on my pillow like about two little spritzes and I put it next to I put it on my desk my dresser over there and then I just use it whenever and I love it it's really great um, so those two scents I love and I also like rose scented things like I have a lotion which is up there I don't feel like getting it but it's like called rock and rose by Valentino and I love that too um, okay and also another way to open up your eyes I kind of didn't kind of scatter brain today is to use a highlighter and this is my highlighter I've already mentioned it before um, it's the billion dollar brows highlighter and concealer like it has two different ends and this ends the highlighter and this ends the concealer and I like the highlighter side the concealer side's not as good as this of course but um I love the highlighter side because I just use it right in here and right in here and like right here and right here and it just like opens up my face and illumifies it <laughs> illumifies is that even a word illuminates it that's the word. So I love, love, love this. I'll link this in the bottom bar to link all this stuff. Or not really link, I'll just like post it so you guys can see. So the next thing that you must invest in in order to stay awake and alert, and I don't really know, just at night when you're doing your homework, and you're just, I like to sit in my bed and do my homework. So whenever I'm just like in my bed and doing my homework, I'm wearing this. And this is my Snuggie. Ah! And this is like the college one because it's kind of like an inside joke. My friend and I, we bought each other Snuggies for Christmas. Um, so I love this. And it's actually really comfortable. Like I thought it was just going to be like really cheap feeling and stuff. But it's actually like really, really comfortable. I hope you guys like this. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon, I guess. Bye.